Advocates First, I'm Zoe Canella, and today I'm interviewing Noah Centineo, who plays Adam Smasher in Black Adam. Hi, Noah. I just, okay, before we start, okay. I have watched To All the Boys, <laughs> I love before, an unhealthy amount of times, like all three. <laughs> so this is very surreal for me, but lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too, thank you. Um, I think superhero movies are super merely entertaining, but in Black Adam there's so many underlying messages mm -hmm. like about division and slavery, but also about teamwork. So out of all of those, what do you think, or in general, what, do you, what takeaway or message do you love the most from the film? Totally, it's a great question. Um, I th like, like you said, there's so many different themes and, and you know, messages within Black Adam and, and I think one to highlight is definitely the family element, right? It's at the, at the very heart of it all, you have a mother that's looking for her child and trying to save her child and make sure that he's safe. Um, and it's a family film in that, in that regard. And you also have Black Adam who uh, 5,000 years ago, his family was, was stolen from him. And then when he wakes up, they're of course dead. And then he finds himself, you know, a new pseudo family and it kind of becomes the impetus for the plot of the film. Um, and so, but what I love about Adriana, the character, the mother in this, of course, um, she doesn't have any superpowers and yet she acts like a hero and she is a hero because she refuses to back down and she occupies her space even in the face of really, really terrifying uh, adversaries. And so that's something to highlight without a doubt. Also the question of what is good and evil, right? If it's good, who is it good for? If it's evil, if it's bad, who is it bad for? Yeah, absolutely. Not to mention, you have a great cast, obviously. You briefly see uh, Henry Winkler and Clint, East or Clint Eastwood, um, and obviously <laughs> you're The Rock and Pierce Brosnan, both legends. So yeah. what is your role as an actor, do you think, in society? You know, to tell stories accurately, um, and I think, I think as, I, as I age, as I get older, as I start getting into producing, it's, it's more now about... Um, you know, empowering others that maybe didn't have the opportunity to tell those stories, just to help them tell those stories and to kind of, I think my role in Black Adam is to support this incredible cast um, to the best of my ability. And uh, as an actor, I think that will always be my responsibility. And as I said, as I get older and hopefully continue to be able to make projects, just hand select those projects that empower others as well. Yeah, did you ever see yourself really being in a superhero film like this? And obviously you had a great fan base before, but I think now it's definitely expanded and it's going to open a world to like so many new people seeing you as an actor. And I also love how loving you are with your fans like yesterday, um, taking pictures with all the fans. I thought that was really great. So how has your life changed from this? I, I, you know, the first question thinking about if I had ever seen myself playing a superhero or being a superhero, I think, I think of course, I thought about it, and I was like, oh, that would be really, really awesome. Now, whether that was the thing that I was like, that's what I want to do next, I try not to have that perspective. I try to just kind of be open and, and, and just kind of search and allow things to find me as well. Um, and how has my life changed? I mean, I, I left this film. This was the most fun I had had filming a project in my entire career. Um, and so leaving with that feeling and, and remembering that feeling and moving forward and being like, this is what a set should feel like. Um, if, if it can, if, you know, that would be great. And it's changed my life in the sense of I now have a new sense of community and a new family for the rest of my life from this. Yeah, absolutely. I also loved your character in the film. Like, Thanks. he's kind of clumsy, but he yeah, totally. has he's like totally a sense clumsy. of like humanity. Yeah, you know, he's a young kid trying to prove himself at the end of the day and he's still learning what it means to be a superhero which i love awesome well thank you so much noah it was such a pleasure talking to thank you thank you so much Huge congratulations thanks smasher now is your time not me i don't fly i get big that's what i do nice to meet you thanks sir it's a pleasure and thank you. Uh, Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this interview, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and check out some of the other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.